Hey, 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 friends. Um, coming at you live on Instagram again, which I almost ra rarely ever do. I'm trying to fix my hair while I'm doing this. Um, I usually go live on Facebook and then I just share it to IGTV, but I'm gonna just, hey, Danny, Danielle. Danny. When I look at your name, it says Danny DeSmith, which I guess you do go by Danny, don't you? Um, but today I wanted to share with you guys um, a revelation that God was sharing with me yesterday uh, from the life of Moses. And hey, Megan, um, from the life of Moses. I know that a ton of spiritual stuff is happening and spiritual attacks are coming at God's people from every direction right now. And it's making people very weary and it's, uh, it's kind of um, discouraging and even getting to like a breaking point. I know that I have gotten in the past couple of weeks, we have been just bombarded even more, like it's been over the last several months, but even more in the past couple of weeks, feeling the weight of weariness and the heaviness of the attack in the spirit realm coming, uh, coming at God's people. And um, so God has been just saying to me, like, usually get, you get to that breaking point right before you're going to get your breakthrough. Dan, um, and I said this in the message yesterday, but Dan often says, uh, breakup happens on the inside just before breakthrough happens on the outside. So whatever breakthrough you've been praying for and you're feeling all this attack coming and discouragement and disappointment, like maybe it will never happen type of thing, um, and you just feel like kind of beaten down by the enemy, just know that all of that um, is cracking open something in you, like maybe something in your heart that you've kept closed for a long time. Maybe it's a it's another level of healing and freedom that you uh, you have have had a measure of healing or and freedom in your soul and God's like there's still another layer like uh, let me go a little bit deeper let me crack this open even more because the more that he breaks that open the more vulnerable we are with God the more intimate we can be with him and with people as well the more vulnerable we can be with people then we have authority over that thing in a deeper way for other people. So uh, for me, it's been a lot of like anxiety attacks lately, which I haven't had in years. And I thought I was completely done with it. But coming at me, it is the spirit of fear coming at God's people. And I know this and I know already how um, to overcome with Jesus. But uh, God showed me, he's like, I'm breaking you open just a little bit more in this area because I want to give you more authority over that spirit of fear. I want you to have more authority so that when you speak and when you command that spirit to be broken over other people, it goes deep because you let me go deep in you. It's going to go deep in the people that you are, um, speaking over and that you're breaking that off of. So um, I'm willing as a leader to go first and that's what we do, you guys. As leaders in the body of Christ, we go first. It's like trailblazers. And if there's something that is um, painful about the next level of healing for you, just rejoice because Whatever the enemy is doing to you is going to be turned around for good. It's going to come against him. You get authority over the enemy that has been attacking you. And um, that means many people that you get to lead to another level of healing and freedom as well. All right, so this is what God was showing me yesterday morning about Moses. Uh, as a body of Christ, we are in this um, season where we are going to be set free from some major oppression, oppressive strongholds of the enemy. Fear, shame, uh, a lot of um, even bitterness, uh, religious and performance type of um, strongholds that have been under the surface and have been oppressing God's people for many generations, but we are seeing it now and we are feeling it now in a much greater way so that we know how to fight it, so that we realize that it's there and we know how to fight it. So it's kind of like Israel getting so sick and tired 
of uh, being in bondage and in slavery and just being treated worse and worse by the Egyptians. And so they started crying out to God in a way they never had before. Well, God's people all over the earth are crying out to God in a way we, we never have before uh, for freedom from the enemy that we are seeing <laughs> rising up. Um, so Moses, though, when he was called to be a deliverer, he started going to Pharaoh in obedience to God. He started going to Pharaoh and saying, let my people go. This is what God says. Let my people go. And Pharaoh said no. He said no. He said no. Moses didn't want to be this leader in the first place. And he was like kind of afraid to even go in the first place. So God let him take Aaron with him. You know, you know the story. Um, but Moses did not know how long it was going to take for God to set, set Israel free. He did not know how many times God was going to require him to continue to go back to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. He didn't know ahead of time. He just knew God said, go to Pharaoh and say this. And then there was a plague and then God told him, go again and say this. And if he doesn't, there's going to be another plague. So, but Moses didn't know how many times this was going to take. Only God knew. He probably got very tired of it. He probably got to the point where we are right now as a body of Christ, feeling weary and weak, maybe a little discouraged, maybe feeling like, when are the attacks going to end? When does the celebration and the freedom come? Um, he probably got weary of the constant battle and Pharaoh's hard heart and the constant like, okay, are we ever going to be actually set free or are we just going to continue in this way forever? He probably argued with God several times is what I wrote down yesterday uh, because it wasn't working the way that he maybe expected it to. Um, he probably worried that it would never happen. He probably thought that some of it was even his fault. He's like, I told you I was not a good leader. You know, I told you that um, I wasn't a good speaker. Maybe he thought that he had something to do with the fact that it was taking too long. <laughs> you know, like maybe if I was a better leader, uh, we would have been set free by now. You know, Moses or Pharaoh would have listened to me. Um, so he probably thought all these things about himself along the way, but God had made a promise. God had promised to Moses that Moses was going to deliver God's people out of bondage and out of oppression. And he had promised to Moses that they would have their own land. So there was a long battle with Pharaoh. Time and time again, Moses had to keep going back to God's promise and he had to keep obeying God and going to Pharaoh and saying, let my people go. Even when he was weary, even when he started losing hope, even when he wondered, could it be my fault that it's taking so long? Even when he had no idea if it would actually ever happen. He had to keep going back to God's promise and go, God promised. So it is going to happen. God is faithful. He will keep his word. He will keep his promise. Deliverance is coming. And I want to say that to all of you. Deliverance is coming. Is there somebody in your family or some loved one that you've been praying for that you know needs some deliverance and some freedom and some healing? Deliverance is coming, you guys. Don't get discouraged and think that it may never happen. Freedom from that heavy oppression, it is promised to you by God. He did say that he is rescuing his people this year and he's going to reward you. He did say that uh, healing for your family is on its way, so don't give up. He did say that it's going to be a miraculous uh, breakthrough in that you are going to have a time of celebration. We as a body of Christ are going to have a time of celebration coming very soon here. Um, no matter how impossible it looks, don't give up. Because the truth that you're standing on, the promises of God that you're standing on, and the, the promises that you're speaking out, it matters that you speak them out. 
they are firm and secure. They are more real and more firm and secure than what you see happening, what you feel coming against you, uh, what is breaking on the inside of you. Those promises are more firm and more secure. If something is breaking in you, it's only breaking open to come closer to Jesus. Allow him in a little bit more. And if something's breaking in you, it means breakthrough on the outside is coming. Uh, it's very, very near. Jesus himself is watching over his word to perform it. The thing that will never break is the foundation in you of God's word and his promises and his heart and his truth. Hey, Whitley, the promises of God can never be shaken. So if you feel something breaking on the inside of you, just know that the truth of God, it stands firm and secure. His promise for you and for your family, for your loved ones, the people that you're praying for, is going to come to pass. There is nothing that can shake it and nothing that can break it. Uh, so I just believe that from that story of Moses that God is um, very soon we will see his promises fulfilled and we will have that celebration that he promised and we will see the freedom that God promised um, in our own lives, in our families, in the people that we're praying for and even in the body of Christ and in uh, the nations of the world. So uh, you guys, I love you. Um, if you didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing, you can watch from the beginning. I'm going to try to save it to um, IGTV. So I don't know how to stop this, but <laughs> because I never do Instagram live. Let me see. How do I stop this? Uh, do I just exit out? Whitley, tell me. <laughs> do I just press the X? Uh, I hope I can save it. Anyways, I love you guys. Talk to you later.